Well, we begin this afternoon with that new video giving new insight into that deadly officer involved shooting. Thank you for joining us. I'm Glenda Lewis and I'm Brian Abel police releasing body cam video. It shows 57 year old Frank Robles of Roseville. He appears to be armed with a knife as officers arrive on scene. Surveillance video capturing the violent crash that started it all yesterday morning. This all happened on Grosbeck between 12 Mile and Martin. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig live for us. And Kim, do investigators think Robles was impaired? Maybe alcohol a factor in this at all? Uh, Brian and Glenda, good afternoon. No, investigators do not think alcohol was involved, but they are awaiting toxicology results. And the sheriff said they first showed this video to the family of the man fatally shot. It outlines the dangers that law enforcement officers face on a daily basis. Is this your car? What? Who is in here? You? Are you good? Hey, drop the knife. Drop the knife. Dispatch, step it up. I've got one at gunpoint. Got one on the drop it. That's the moment the Roseville police officer fired four gunshots and 57 year old Frank Robles, who had been holding this knife, fell to the ground. But he didn't stay there. Two or three seconds later, Robles was trying to get up, and investigators say he was still holding the knife. Shots fired, shots fired. Drop the knife. The officer then fires five more rounds, killing Robles. He's got a knife. He came at me with a knife. He came at me with a knife. I'm sorry, I, I tried to warn you guys. That man talking to the officer is the one who called 911 about four minutes earlier. Robles was in his silver pickup truck driving south on Grosbeck near 12 Mile when he veered into oncoming traffic, striking a semi truck. That semi truck driver and another motorist tried to help Robles get out of his crash pickup truck, but it appeared Robles had cut himself. The gentleman with a silver pickup truck hit the semi on the left front fender. Me and the Sumerian stopped to get him out, don't pull the door open. The guy got out with a knife, okay, and he cut his wrist. He cut his wrist? Cut his wrist. The sheriff would not speculate if Robles was intent on trying to take his own life or having someone else do it. You know, that's still part of the investigation. Again, you know, we've talked with the family. There's more people to talk to. This guy's distraught. I don't know what's wrong with him. Me and the other guy that opened the door up got away from him. There's something wrong with him. Tell the officers to watch this guy. And it's unclear if that message actually got to the responding officers. Coming up on Action News at 6 o'clock, Roseville's police chief responds to whether his officers had tasers. In Roseville, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Brian, back to you. Kim, thank you. We'll see you at 6.